<laughs> Hello guys, I just got done watching Cocaine Bear and I am super pumped to freaking talk about this movie with you guys! <laughs> I thought the only reasonable way to talk about Cocaine Bear was to do some cocaine myself and then I would be perfectly amped up and psyched to talk to you about the film. Cocaine Bear came out this year, 2023. It's directed by Elizabeth Banks, who's the same person that directed that absolute pile of crap, that steaming pile of beep. You know it, I know it's Charlie's Angels. Not the one from 2000, not the sequel Full Throttle. This was a newer movie and everybody hate it. So she said, I have to go back to the drawing board. I'm gonna come up with something that's gonna blow everyone's mind to smithereens. I'm talking about a bear who's high on cocaine. <laughs> How's the movie though, you might be asking. Is this a movie that I'm gonna enjoy? Well, it depends. Do you like seeing an animal absolutely eviscerate people? Ripping off limbs, mainly feet? Do you like people dangling from trees by their innards? Do you like watching young 11 year old kids trying to flee for their lives while a crazed bear, a beast, hunts them down? Looking for that sweet, sweet honey, but instead of Winnie the Pooh's barrel of fun, it's looking for a package that it can <sighs> take all the way inside of its belly and then take you inside of its belly. <laughs> this movie was awesome. And it's awesome because it's rated R and it's unapologetic. It's a horror gore fest with a lot of comedy. Yeah, it's sloppy as all hell. I wouldn't even say it's a great movie, but it's a fun movie. It's an experience that you'll remember. Yeah, there are pacing issues. This is an hour and a half movie that feels like it's two hours and 20 minutes long. It overstays its welcome somehow, yet it's welcomed at its length. I love a short film. Short and sweet for that release makes this boy complete. But this film keeps going a little bit too long, especially in that final leg. <laughs> final leg, that's fun. <laughs> I need more cocaine. Holy hell, it's hot in here. For the most part, the comedy is on point. There are fun characters coming and going. The kid actors were actually all pleasantly fun. This movie, believe it or snot, is based on a true story. Not the bear part, but the fact that all this cocaine was dropped in the middle of the woods and they don't know what happened to it. It's also a period piece. The movie took place in the 80s, 1985 I believe, but I'm not sure, you can fact check me if you want, but here's a fact for you, I don't give a fuck. Visually, the movie looks a little flat. There are some fun drone-like shots scattered throughout. It has that 80s feel to it without being over the top in your face. There's not like a Nintendo laying around in a person's house, followed by a box of Captain Crunch, followed by some old Pepsi cans like you see in a lot of these hack 80s movies that have come out today. I'm sick of that shit. I don't need to see a fucking Rubik's Cube in the corner to know that this is an 80s movie. I don't have to have retro music constantly shoved in my face. There is some good music in this, but it fits, it works, it doesn't feel forced. Now let's talk about the effects. That's another story. This bear looks like ass. This thing looks terrible. It's a step above those live action Scooby-Doo movies. It's not good, but it still works. It somehow works. I was fearing for these people when that bear is climbing up the tree where people are running when they're crawling, getting through bushes and bramble and blamble. It doesn't matter. That bear is going to freaking get you. That bear is going to hunt you down. It's going to start eating you. And the camera's not going to shy away from showing it. Elizabeth Banks still has a lot to learn though. There's some shots in this movie that look like absolute dung. There's a shot of a truck where guys are talking and, and the camera's just stuck right there. It looks ugly. It's not framed up well. You can barely see what's going on inside of the windshield. There's some odd camera angles all around, but again, the movie works good enough. I get knocked down, but I get up again. You're never gonna keep me down. I get knocked down. I'm Hermione Granger. Yeah, I know you dumb bitch, kiss me. And that's how this should have ended, J.K. Rowling, you moron! Ron Weasley wasn't good enough. You take a whiskey drink, you take a lager drink. You take a lager drink, you take a potty drink. And then the song's time for picking up the best time. And you say... You only hear what you want to. Bum, 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 bum. 
Mortal Kombat! Don't cry for me, next door neighbor! <laughs> I get knocked down! Back it up again! Well, there you have it, my super awesome review for Cocaine Bear! I'd see it if you don't mind gore, if you don't mind swearing, if you don't mind violence and some comedy mixed together with bad effects. It's a great time! Go see it at the theaters, and if you don't, I don't care! How's that sound? How's that sound? Seriously, how's that sound? I can't hear myself. I think I've gone deaf. What's the deal with DVDs? Why do people have them anymore? You can find the shows on streaming services! Until they change where it's at every freaking week! You're on Netflix right now, Seinfeld. I don't know where you're gonna be in a month. Make sure if you're not subscribed to this channel, you hit that subscribe button right away. Take your finger and hit it! Hit the subscribe button now! Do it! Just do it! Make your dreams come true! Remember that? Shia. <laughs> Pour one out for Shia. He's still alive. Thank you, voice in my head. He's still alive. Like the video if you had some fun. Comment below if you saw Cocaine Bear and what you thought about it. And I'll hopefully see you next time. <laughs> Jeremy Johns. <laughs> Jeremy Johns. <laughs> Jeremy Johns. <laughs> Jeremy Johns. <laughs>